We're incredibly close to the end of an era. When NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 launched back in 1977, they started the biggest expedition an unmanned spacecraft has ever gone on. They dramatically reshaped our understanding of the solar system and how it came into being by travelling past all of the outer planets, well, apart from Pluto. However, the legendary probe's nearly 45-year interstellar mission is nearing its end as NASA continues to gradually shut down the systems on board the spacecraft. Is this the end of Voyager twin spacecraft, which have journeyed farther than anything constructed by humans? If so, what will be the next step in our cosmological exploration? Let's find out. NASA's Voyager 1 and 2 are running out of power. The two probes were launched in 1977 and have kept pushing the limits of space research ever since. The distance these probes have travelled from the planet Earth, further than anything ever made by humans, cannot be overstated. As a result, these explorers will probably continue to retain the record for the farthest human-made object for many years, if not a century. The Voyager twin spacecraft's mission was initially intended to last only five years when they blasted off from Earth in the 1970s. But when they got to Jupiter and Saturn, the plutonium-powered spacecraft was still going strong, so NASA engineers decided to undertake a flyby of Uranus and Neptune. However, the spacecraft continued to travel even after that, and they are still doing so many years later. So much so that both spacecraft made history by formally leaving the heliosphere, a bubble-shaped zone generated by the sun's wind, and entering interstellar space. And in order to extend the probe's lives by a few more years, a soft cutoff date of 2030 was established for power reductions. We've done 10 times the warranty on the darn things, said physicist Ralph McNutt at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in a report concerning the unprecedented longevity of the probes expected to last four short years. Yes, you heard right, four short years. Therefore, the onboard power supply must be cut off since they are deteriorating. Four of the first Voyager's instruments are still in operation compared to five on Voyager 2 and they are all fueled by the electricity created as plutonium decays. In 2019, engineers had to turn off the heater for the cosmic ray detector, a crucial piece of equipment for detecting when Voyager 2 exited the heliosphere, the magnetosphere, the astrosphere, and the outermost atmospheric layer of the Sun. This battery's output has been declining for about 4 watts every year, forcing NASA to make some difficult decisions about what to disable. The magnetometer and the plasma science experiment, which are located in the spacecraft's body, are probably the last equipment NASA will turn off. These are kept warm by the computer's waste heat, while the others are suspended on a 13-meter fiberglass boom, making it likely that they will take the longest to cool down. Surprisingly, the two spacecraft have managed to keep performing considerably below the temperatures at which they were tested. The fact that both Voyager spacecraft are still functioning after almost 50 years in space is proof of their extraordinary engineering prowess. This is amazing, but not entirely unexpected. The tiny onboard processors on both probes have a warm source of electricity from radioactive plutonium reactors that have kept them running non-stop for decades. Sadly, the break is approaching. In August, the Voyager Science Steering Group will decide on the next steps for controlling the power budget. The engineering team has come up with some innovative methods to keep both Voyagers performing as much science as they can for as long as they can. Even when travelling at the speed of light, radio communication from Earth to either craft takes more than 18 hours to reach Voyager 1 and nearly 22 hours to reach Voyager 2. The craft adds 3 to 4 additional light seconds to that period for each day as it travels farther, and that makes it more difficult for Earth to receive or hear the Voyager's signals. Earth is a noisy place, says Glenn Nagel, Outreach and Communications Manager at the Deep Space Network's facility in Canberra, Australia. Radios, televisions, cell phones, 
everything makes noise, and so it gets harder and harder to hear these tiny whispers from the spacecraft. The plan of the scientist team might theoretically extend the power beyond the 2030s. However, NASA has not decided to cancel the mission, and both probes are still returning original scientific data. We also must underline how deeply original and important the science conducted by the spacecraft has been and continues to be. The Voyager spacecraft's utility has greatly surpassed astronomers' predictions. They are anticipated to enter interstellar space very soon, though it will take another 300 years for it to reach the end of the solar system. The probe's main objective was to do a flyby of Jupiter and Saturn. They succeeded admirably by providing the first detailed photographs of Europa, Ganymede, Titan and other gas giants. But it may have taken more than 10 years to create the most important image. Guess what it is? You are perhaps wrong. It's the image of Earth taken by Voyager 1 in 1990 while it was 3.7 billion miles from the Sun. The pale blue dots, made famous by the late astronomer Carl Sagan, help to highlight how fleeting and delicate our entire existence is, from the conflicts of ancient civilization to our own petty political squabbles and the exploitation of the planet's ecosystem to the present. It was all there, in a microscopic blue speck amid a vast, seemingly indifferent dark world. The human race has only existed for a relatively brief period in the history of the cosmos on a small, vulnerable planet that won't be around for very long. If we are to take anything away from the famous probes, it should be this. And the entire world is beckoning us to leave our human arrogance comfort zones and embark on the biggest journey ever. As a young population of sentient beings, Voyager 1 and 2 have been, and will continue to be, our hesitant first step into cosmic adulthood. So what comes next? NASA needs a replacement. This time, the next interstellar mission will be built from the ground up to last for a very long time. The new mission's designers, physicists at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory APL, think the Voyager replacement might last for more than a century. The Interstellar Probe, a brand new initiative, might launch in the 2030s. It is designed to go farther and faster than any other artificial object has and is likely to go in the near future. The spacecraft is expected to go to one or more of the 130 known dwarf planets in the extreme limits of the solar system while it is still in our solar system. Some indications point to the possibility that some of these cold worlds originated as ocean worlds. According to the early design predictions, the interstellar probe should travel at least twice as fast as Voyager 1, which should enable it to cover about 375 astronomical units – that's 34 billion miles – in its first 50 years. The spacecraft could end up travelling more than 800 astronomical units or an astounding 74 billion miles if it is able to continue travelling for another 50 years. That distance isn't very far by astronomical standards, despite being amazing. Remember that Proxima Centauri, the star nearest to our solar system, is located approximately 25 trillion miles away. We are so far behind the technological accomplishments that are casually anticipated in science fiction and popular media that it would probably take more than 30,000 years to go to Proxima Centauri using our current technology. But you have to start somewhere. Thus, NASA intends to maintain a presence in interstellar space. Interstellar missions are very different from anything NASA or any other space agency has undertaken in the past. They won't necessarily be more technically difficult than sending a human to the moon or running a rover on Mars. Still, they will outlive the initial mission's crew because of their lengthy timeline. As the scientific torch is passed to a new generation of researchers, this presents a unique set of difficulties. In order for engineers to have the debugging resources necessary to address a potential problem even 100 years from now, the mission will also need to store spare hardware components and the software they are now coding in a safe manner. It's important to plan ahead, which may require thinking the unthinkable. 
scientists aim to attach some new Easter eggs to the projected mission, which has an estimated cost of $1.5 billion and is still in the planning stages. On the off chance that one of the Voyager spacecraft would be discovered by an advanced alien race, each one was equipped with a golden record. Each disc transmits greetings from the inhabitants of Earth through sounds, images and recordings. The audio recording contained a variety of musical selections, including Blind Willie Johnson, Beethoven and Chuck Berry. Stella Ocker, a graduate student at Cornell University who works with Voyager Data, said, I don't think we should try to copy the golden record, but I think it would be really amazing to have a similar kind of public outreach piece that plays an important part in the mission. Don't you agree? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.